I, I'm in a fucked up predicament, bro, because I got a coochie. I'm a woman and I'm black. It's just certain shit. And I'm saying all this because I just went through this shit, bro, in February. Like, I just went through this shit and I'm not trying to lose my job over somebody being horny. mind if i just vent real quick i'm not even flirting with people in front of other people because once you make the wrong nigga mad my job be on the line and it's like i'm a nice person so men in particular take my niceness for like oh i think she'll let me sleep with her baby no i'm literally just being nice and i'm being professional like what why can't we work together and it don't have to be sexual like it's really annoying and it's like bro i didn't come here for nothing but the money and the money and not even money because we're gonna talk about it i've only been here for four weeks because i've only had four paychecks but baby when i tell you it's not consistent it's not consistent i feel like i've been scammed anyway it's new people hate to be so vulgar but it's just like i feel like a little gazelle in the wild and they is the lions like it's just aggravating let me read this comment real quick back to what i was saying I feel like a little gazelle, and this new crew is full of lions. Well, one in particular just made it all the way now. Like, didn't waste no time. Because my I told you I've been gone for two days training. So, this is my first time working with that crew. I'm on my tablet looking at my stuff, you know, eating my breakfast, being antisocial. I ain't speaking to nobody. That's what my mind is at. My mind ain't on nothing else. But, child, they mind be all everywhere. On oh, this coochie. This coochie. On oh, this coochie. That's what they mind be at. On oh, this coochie. I'm saying that to say because it's it's not just Travis. It's it's more. But right now we talk about Travis and then I'll tell you about the other incidents so you can understand my frustration. Okay. So Travis is like, oh hey, Hanifa. I said, hey. He said, yeah, we need to talk. Put your number on my phone. Mind you, Travis is an assistant supervisor. So I didn't want to say no. And then we're working with your crew. And it's my first day working with your crew. I was just like, okay. So I gave him my phone and he put his number in my phone and he tried to call it. The call ain't go through. That's annoying because like, I get it. I get, I understand it to a certain extent, but it's like, I don't give off hoe. I don't give off easy. And I know that don't even matter. Like a nigga gonna try because Travis has a wife, but it's proximity and it's convenient. But why would you think that you can get this coochie? I'm real stingy with coochie. Like, I, I ain't coming off no coochie. What gave you the idea? Because I was in my tablet minding my good business. So let me tell you what he said. Let me go back to it. I'm just trying to, I want, I want to give y'all context so y'all understand why I'm upset. Either way, I was going to be upset. But it's like, because I did not come here. I'm very stingy. Very, very. You got the earnest. I'm not no hoe. I'm not sexy red. I'm not Sukiyana. I'm not Cardi B. I'm not Malo. What the fuck is that name? Mulatto. I'm not none of these hoes. I don't even act like them hoes. I don't dress like them hoes. But I don't be showing no skin. These niggas don't know how my shape is. I'm not on that type of energy. I'm here to work. I'm here to work. I came to work to take care of my jit. I got a baby, bro. Not stunting you niggas. I didn't come from you niggas. I didn't come for you niggas. I'm not finna fuck none of you niggas. Get off my dick. Like, relax. Just relax. It's early in the morning. You think about coochie. That's where your head is. I like to give facts. So I'll read y'all what Travis texted me. And then y'all tell me what y'all think he want from me. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. So I text, it's Hifa. Yeah, ma. He said, okay, boo, gotcha. How you liking the job? We should link sometime after work if you down. Bro, I just got fired from a job because I didn't put out, bro. Because I wasn't fucking. And I, what I learned from that is if you make the wrong nigga mad and they got influence, me being a woman, I will lose my job. <laughs> like, so we, I got this text. I'm like, here we go. I don't know how much influence this nigga got over anybody. And that sucks me being put up in this position. Because at Florida, with Florida, they're an at-will state. They can hire and fire at will. They didn't tell me why they fired me. They said, not a good fit for the company. And I've been here seven months. Took the seven months to realize that? Or is you mad because you couldn't fuck me? We got to keep it. You get what I'm saying? Like, So the shit kind of like, bro, I just came from that. And then you got a little bit of power. You being an assistant supervisor. I don't know who you got wrapped around your finger. HR, whoever to get me out of there if I piss you off. So like when I seen this message, it's just trauma, bro. I just trauma, trauma, PTSD, bro. And I'm like, bro, 
So I text back and he said, okay, we should link sometime after work if you down. Why? That's very inappropriate. You don't know me, I don't know you. What are we linking for? What do you want? Why do you think we should link after work? You have a wife. So I wrote back, it's not what I thought it was going to be, LOL. I feel scammed, but sure, I'll let you know. Let him down a little nicely. Still think he got a little leeway, but don't be a bitch. Cause I don't want to make the wrong person mad again and lose my damn job. So he wrote back this, oh damn, LOL. Yeah, let me know, love. Don't forget now, LOL. I'm boo and I'm love. What y'all think he want? Am I tripping? What y'all think he want? Maybe I'm reaching. Maybe I'm reaching. What you think this nigga want from me? No, he ain't waste no time. I just got with y'all. He ain't waste no time. He didn't even let the morning pass, bruh. So he wrote, I actually hit the gym at 5.15 every morning. I got a little energy, but no two a day for me, babes. LOL. Tell me why this nigga pop up on me in the gym. But mind you, he shouldn't be trying to get with me. He got a wife. I feel what you're saying, though. But at the same time, you shouldn't even be trying to come on to me like that. Nigga, you're married. The fuck is you? He wrong. I'm just gonna try to play it cool. Like, cause that, I feel like if I was to snitch to like somebody above him or like HR or something, I think that's where I, I'm in a fucked up predicament, bro. Cause I got a coochie, I'm a woman and I'm black. It's just certain shit. And I'm saying all this cause I just went through this shit, bro. In February, like I just went through this shit and I'm not trying to lose my job over somebody being horny. <laughs> And now you want to get her fired and throw her off a truck. I, I just think that the guy that initiated the situation with her, as as I said, it, I, I thought it was borderline sexual harassment. You said it's straight sexual harassment. And she do mm -hmm. have a case because she documented it with, with the text messages and, and got the got one of the co-workers to to be there when the dude actually mm -hmm. showed up. This dude is married. Like, bro. Mm -hmm. Ain't he ugly? I okay, well I, I ain't unattractive seen by her description. Okay. Well that yeah, I, I I don't know about all of that, but but I'm just saying from the offset, the guys, listen, guys, y'all need to stop. Mm -hmm. Bro, y'all y'all need to stop doing that, man. Y'all need to stop trying to make the workplace a work a love connection. Stop doing mm -hmm. that because y'all, number one, y'all making the female nervous. Now she feels like her job is in jeopardy now because she's not getting up, giving up the coochie. By her own words, that looks like what happened on the last job. Well, she didn't give up the coochie to whoever and, and then six or seven months later, she was let go because she wasn't a good fit. But she been there six or seven months. Now, what, was it the guy related or whatever? I don't know. But now she's out of a job because she's not giving up the coochie. Okay, lesson learned. Okay, lesson learned. Don't fuck with people on the job. Now here she comes in a new job. And, and this dude out of nowhere trying to swim. She's a fish. In a, in a pond full of sharks, and he's the main one, and swimming all the way over here, and, hey, can I get, uh, let's get together. Fun fact, you ain't even single, bro. You married. So why would you, what, what, what do we need to get together for? Especially, what do we need to get together what, after work after for? Work I for. don't know you from a can of paint. Right. Why do we need to get together? Like, to me, where I felt the sexual harassment coming into play is the fact that he's testing her okay boo okay love affectionate stuff like stuff that you will say to your wife not 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 a strange female co-worker uh -huh. you don't do that you you don't do uh -oh. that you don't do that in the workforce i understand like maybe later down the line that uh, relationships could develop during the workforce but not that early. But you gotta get to know a person. You right. gotta know what they about. Right. This this ain't an Olivia Benson. And, you don't know and if you're Elliot. talking to a whistleblower or what. Yeah, but this this ain't no Olivia Benson, Elliot Stabler love story after 20 years. Damn. Law and Order. SVU. Mm. Olivia Benson. Okay.
Oh Lord, have mercy! Okay. You, you you mean tell me I got you. you you're not hip to Olivia? I didn't know their names. Yeah, uh-uh. Elliot Staber uh, okay. and Olivia. Oh. Got you. Okay, whatever. But no, this this it's not that, man. Like you said, you got to get to know the person. I can understand if you work with that person after several months, maybe a year. You feel like it might be an opportunity. Opportunity, yeah. That, but not in the beginning. Even though you married, that she might still, you that know, one, be I don't even to know. Play. I don't even know the married part, bro. That that's, that that threw me off. Like, yeah, motherfuckers, mofos don't respect their vows. Why you want to get married if you still want to be out here in the streets? Probably something going on in in the marriage. It don't matter. Get divorced. But I, I well, we, well, she didn't mention that he was getting divorced. She just said that no, he was married. No, I said get divorced. But I'm I'm just she saying said he was married. Yeah, she said he was married, but he could be getting a divorce. We we don't know his. Well, you situation. need to get one before you approach me. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know, or, man. I, I don't know, man. Whether you get a divorce or not, we on a job. This we, is my first day. Right. I don't know you from a can of paint. Right. I don't need to get after work about nothing. Right. Regardless to you being married or not, I didn't come here to meet you. And that's what a lot of guys, especially in trucking, trainers, trainees, that's. That's all that mumble jumble be going through their mind is the coochie. Like, I got instant coochie on the truck. Like, bro, really? Come on now. Come on now. I had to tell one of my trainers, look, stop worrying about when I take a shower. I'm not your wife. You don't need to be. Oh. You whoa, don't need to be concerned whoa, about my whoa, private whoa, parts. Whoa, 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 What? You, that, you just threw that out of nowhere. Like, when was this? Oh, this is when I first started with the company, the last company I was with. Oh, my God. So, well. He's like, oh, you should come to my room to take a shower. Oh. I'm not coming to your room to take a shower. Oh. I don't, there's no reason for me to be in. I'll leave out. It don't matter. There's no reason for me to be in your room to take a shower or anything else. Oh, so what he's trying to say. I don't need say- to come watch the game. But, I don't need to. But what he, what he was trying to say, you was stinking or something on the truck? No, he was just offering me. Uh-uh. I know I wasn't stinking, so... Mm-mm. So you... But he was trying to offer me mm-hmm. because he was my trainer. Right. We were in my vehicle. Okay. And and um, when we stopped for the night, he had to stay in the hotel because our company didn't have us staying on the truck together. He stayed in the hotel. I stayed on my truck. But he would, he would tell me, oh, you could come... If you want to watch the... Like, it's Sunday. It's games playing. You want to watch the game? You could come watch the game with me. Or you want to come take a shower? You know, I'll leave the room. I don't need to be in your room. You're a married man. There's no reason for me to be in your room for any reason. I don't care what the reason is. I kind of... I don't know. I, I, I think I feel this way. Like, if it's a man and a woman, trainee, trainer, trainee, then, yeah, I, I kind of think that... Look, I, I know a lot of companies isn't going to do this, but I think they should, like, offer the 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 male, not the female, and I'll explain why, but offer the male to go to a hotel, okay, for, for the night, for the 34, or whatever the case. I think the company should foot that bill. I think all companies should foot that bill so there won't be no miss understanding no miscommunications or anything like that now as far as the female goes because i know some of you guys going to come in the comment section and be like no why the female can't go no because the female needs to get a feel of what it's like to be out on the road in the truck right so yes i agree let her sleep in the truck let her get a feel for the truck let her be commando in the truck the dude, on the other hand, should be in a hotel. Now, a lot of companies don't do that shit for whatever reason, but I, I think they should implement that. That should cut down on all potential cases. Because, because your ass supposed to be in a hotel. Yeah, I'll get me a hotel. Shit. Give me a now, hotel. the company I worked for before the last one, the first company I worked for, me and my male trainer, Slept on the truck together, but there was never a problem. Okay, it wasn't a problem, but so okay. it wasn't it wasn't weird. How weird was that? It wasn't because it wasn't weird for me because for one, he always made the concessions for me. He would leave the truck to allow me whatever privacy I needed. Okay. When we made stops for the night, 
he would get off the truck. He would take all his things with him, the stuff to take his shower, whatever, his laptop, whatever. And he would stay off the truck for a while. And by the time he would come back, I beat him, went, took my shower, came back, got myself ready for bed. And even if he wasn't ready to go to bed, we would close the, the end cabin curtain. I would be inside the curtain doing whatever I'm doing, whether it's watching TV or trying to sleep. He would be on the other side of the curtain until he was ready to go to sleep. And then he would climb up to the bunk, the top bunk to go to bed. Top bunk? He, yeah, because he slept. On, it, it was his truck, but he made all the concessions to make sure that I was comfortable. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So he slept on the top bunk. I don't think I would sleep on the top he, bunk. And that was the mine. thing for all the students, whether he had a male or a female. He always let his students stay on the bottom bunk. No, nah, your ass get on the top with your stuff. That's Well, that's no, he had all of his stuff up there. But you, you, that, that's what I'm saying. You you get on the top. You, I'm no, on, I'm he on. had all of his stuff up there. Okay, well, okay. All of, his, all of his container full of stuff was up on the top bunk. I'm not sleeping up there with, his, with your stuff. How the hell is he sleeping up there? Exactly. <laughs> but he did. He did. He, had, he made himself just enough room to sleep up there with his stuff. And so he always made sure that he never made me uncomfortable. He never said anything out of the way, and he never did anything out of the way. Now, with the other company, with with the trainers, the first trainer I had, he was always concerned. Well, you know, you want to come in and take a shower? You want to go there and take a shower? You, you Wouldn't you want to take... And I'm like, why do you keep worrying about my personal parts? I know how to take care of me. I don't need you being concerned with when I wash my behind. I'm not your wife. You be concerned when she wash hers. You don't need to be concerned about when I wash mine. And that made me uncomfortable because I never had... Because the other trainer I had after him wasn't concerned about when I took a shower. Do you need me to stop the ticket? Do you want... Because to me, if you that concerned with my personal hygiene, what's on your mind? Coochie. <laughs> Coochie. So I always had to let him know, stop being concerned about my personal hygiene. I know how to take care of myself. You don't need to be questioning me about when I want to take a shower. I'm not your wife. And I had to let him know in, in, in that specific way, I am not your wife. My personal hygiene is none of your business to get him to stop asking. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, why you need to be concerned about when I'm clean and that and that, whatever? Like, what's on your mind that you need to be concerned? Well, I hope everything works out for my girl, Nifa. Guys, go over yeah, there and check out Nifa Nee and show her some love. And hopefully everything work out all right for her, man, because well, like I said, it's, it just seems as though that not, not just Nifa Nee, it's women in general, such as yourself and, and other women that be in precarious situations, man, like these, these dudes on the jobs at like brand new, man. Y'all not brand new to this, man. Damn, you know, but it is what it is. So, you want a lot? Go to the truck stop. I don't think lot lizards is a thing. They all on yeah, there. Well, no, not, not not all of them. I say over there on Lamar Avenue is still a thing. But no, it is. I've been to the truck stops where there were lot lizards. I seen them with my own eyes. Yeah, but what Missouri? No, in other states. Hey, lot lizards is not. <laughs> Lot I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you what I see with my own eyes. Lot lizards is not a thing anymore. It saying. is. It is. And they may not be everywhere, but they out there because I've seen them. This is not a thing. I'm just it saying. is. Stop telling me what it ain't. I'm telling you what it is. Big G's got it locked, boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G? Yeah, I'm